in lesson seven, we're going to continue editing text. We're going to learn how to create a bulleted list, adding a word to our custom spelling dictionary, and we're going to put a closing on our letter. Continuing on with our document, I'm going to enter in a new paragraph tab. We have many satisfied customers in the western New York area, including colon, enter. Now I want to put a list of customers here. There are many ways of creating lists in Word. I'm going to pick one of my favorites, the bulleted list. So I'm going to come up here in the paragraph group and find this button right here that says bullets. I'm going to click on that and that puts a little circle over here. That's called a bullet. And now we can type in our list of customers. XYZ Corporation. Enter. Notice how I get another bullet. One, two, three company. Enter. LMNOP Wholesale. Enter. And Smith Agency. Enter. Now when you're done with your bulleted list, just press Enter another time and that'll stop the bulleted list and put your cursor at the next line. If you decide you forgot someone and want to add them to that list, just simply click in front of where you want them to go. For example, let's say I want to add them after 123 company. I'll just click here and then press enter and type in the next company name. How about Borkowitz Shipping? Now notice again that Microsoft Word doesn't recognize the word Borkowitz, so let's right click on it. And notice how we have no spelling suggestions. Word has nothing to recommend. So we've got a couple of different options. We can ignore that word so we don't see it anymore. We can ignore all instances of that word, so nowhere else in this document will the word Borkowitz generate an error. Or we can add the word to our custom dictionary. Now this is handy for words you're going to use on a regular basis. Let's say the name of your company. Well, if you add it to your custom dictionary, then Word will never again bother you with a misspelling for that word. Now let's say Borkowitz Shipping is one of my regular customers, and I use their name a lot. I'll click on Add to Dictionary, and now I've added Borkowitz to my custom dictionary. So any time in the future, if I type in the word Borkowitz in any other document, Word won't bother me telling me that it's spelled incorrectly. This is also good for things like industry specific terms. I know in the computer industry there's a lot of acronyms. You can add things like that to your custom dictionary so Word stops bothering you and telling you that they're spelled wrong. Now let's go ahead and put a closing on our letter. I'm going to press enter here so I have some extra space after my bulleted list. And I'll start typing the last paragraph. If you have any other questions or comments, please feel free to give me a call. I look forward to hearing from you. Enter. Cordially, comma, enter. I'll leave some space for a signature. Enter. And then my name, Richard Rost. Enter.